for physics please subscribe my channel hello and welcome back to another episode of physics partner today i'm going to discuss the ohm's law and its application later on we will do a virtual lab about ohm's law ohm's law is a fundamental concept in electrical and electronics engineering it states that the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it if you want to revise the concept of current and voltage you can watch my video i will share the link uh, in the description it states that the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it this condition is valid if the temperature and other physical conditions remain constant the formula for the ohms law is v is equal to ir where i is the current which is measured in amperes v is the voltage or potential difference measured in volts and r is the resistance measured in ohm the technical details of ohms law are crucial for understanding how electricity works in circuit for example if you increase the voltage applied to the resistor while keeping its resistance constant then the current flowing through it will increase proportionally similarly if you decrease the resistance of the circuit while keeping its voltage constant then more current will flow through it one of the primary advantages of ohms law is its simplicity understanding ohms law can help engineers design circuits that operates efficiently and safely by calculating the expected current flow through various components engineer can select appropriate resistors and other components to prevent overheating or damage without an understanding of ohms law electrical system can be dangerous and unreliable ohms law formula and technical details are essential concept for anyone working with electricity or electronics understanding this law allows engineers to design safe and efficient circuits that means their intended specification the simplicity of the law and versatility make it an essential tool for designing effective electrical system while also adding in troubleshooting issues that arise within the system let's try one virtual lab to understand more about the ohms law so you can see the setup of the virtual lab here we have a power supply here which is providing right now 30 voltages voltages and volt is the unit of potential difference as we discussed this ohms law according to ohms law voltage and currents are directly proportional and you can see here i have a resistor here which value is right now 500 ohm and i have an ammeter which is showing current right now is 60 milliamperes so let us see what happened and what is the effect of voltage if i increase or decrease the voltage what happened to the current and same time we will also check what happened if we change the value of the resistance so if i increase the voltage you can see here the current is also going to be increased you can see the relationship of the voltage and current here when i increase the uh, voltage current is also increased whereas resistance is uh, fixed right now so on the fixed resistance according to ohm's law when you increase the voltage current will also be increased uh, likewise if i decrease the voltage you can notice the current is also going to be decreased you can look at the graph it shows the directly proportional graph because it is going to be increase with each other and decrease with each other same way if i tried to change the value let me fix uh, again to 30 voltage so again it's now 30 voltage and 60 milliamperes so what happen if i change the value of resistance so if when i'm going to increase the resistance you might notice that current is going to be decreased so if the voltage is fixed now and i'm increasing the resistance current is going to be decreased and likewise you can see the change in the graph so if i decrease the resistance you can see the current is going to be increased so this is the relationship between uh, voltages and current according to ohm law v is directly proportional to current the voltage is directly proportional to current when v is increased current is also increased when v is decreased current is also decrease and v is equal to ir is the conclusion of ohm's law so i think it's enough for today so thank you very much for listening and watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video is useful for you 
So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself meanwhile. See you in the next video. Goodbye.